So last night I saw the Marcus King Band. Today we are at the Tampa Card Show. This is my local card show growing up. It's evolved quite a few times over the past few years. Remember going to the Big Top Flea Market all the time and now it's in a nice hotel near the airport. Let's see how we do at the show today. First pickups here in Tampa, kind of a hodgepodge of everything. First, we have some strip cards from early 1900s, some actors actually, so Douglas Fairbanks and Harold Lloyd, the biggest cinema stars in the early 1900s. So I got these for about $2 each, couldn't really pass those up. Next, we have a Barry Sanders refractor, a very popular player in the 90s, plus a refractor. and. A few rookies as well, Whitaker and then a Lawrence Taylor. So first deal of the show, all that was for $35. When I was growing up, I always went to the Old Smart Flea Market. I bought off this guy named Mike and he had a stand at the flea market. Now there's gonna be a full-on card show here in Old Smart and I'm super excited about it because this is where I started getting my passion for the hobby. So we're doing a show at the Old Smart Flea Market, March 19th and 20th. Here's the, uh, the flyer. Um, roughly 100 tables, um, it will be Saturday, Sunday, free admission, um, we're just trying to get it back into the flea market. Uh, this show, what we're here in Tampa, used to be at the big top flea market, so we're kind of doing a throwback to the, to the flea market show, so we're pretty excited about that. So just picked up this lot for $475, mostly vintage. First are some 58s, which are really nice. You can take a look at these over here. When you find sharp vintage, you can't really pass it up. Then I got a second year Harmon Killebrew. Beautiful looking card. Then a few slabs as well. Uh, football, basketball, and baseball. Pre-war as well. For pre-war side of things. Go. We got a Namath as well. Always super tough on the backs, and you can see how sharp this back is on this example. And two newer cards, so an Opeachy Nolan Ryan and a Shaq. So I have a really cool vintage soccer story on how some of these cards actually made it to the United States. I got these cards in Germany when I was stationed in the military in the late 80s. And a lot of times I would buy them for cheap. They're not obviously not stuck in the album. Full sets. Sometimes I would swap for cartons of cigarettes and some Jack Daniels and I would get a big 
thousands of these cards and I still own them. I'll be here on the April 23rd and 24th show. Come on by. All right guys, Spotting Fakes is now gonna be in the Tampa card shop. First six copies are signed by both me and Steven, number 106. Hopefully we're gonna get this in across card shops all across the country, but this is the first run there. Now that series one is out, how has Wander Franco been moving at the show? He's been selling at like $20 a pop, selling like crazy. Um, the product's hot, so he's moving. So a lot of the flippers are flipping them at 20. Who knows if he's gonna stay there, but I mean, it's been Wander and Tops. Hey, how you doing? So today what people have been looking for that I've noticed at least is Marvel, which there's not a lot of Marvel here. So if you have it, get it out. Uh, also, Brady stuff, obviously. Everybody here in Tampa is trying to figure out if Trask or Gabrick's gonna be the guy, and I've seen people buying Trask. And then uh, the other thing was a little bit of baseball, but mainly football right now. So today it's all been, you know, football still. Uh, football's taken, obviously, I think there's a prism getting delayed and select getting delayed and optic not coming out yet. I think football's gonna have like a longer run normal in, in terms of like the market being hot for it. And then a lot of attention to, uh, turned towards baseball as well. All right, so thoughts on the show today. Mixture of different dealers. I'd say it's more modern today than other Tampa shows. The two vintage dealers that I also buy from here didn't show up there at the Popka show in Orlando. So I'd probably say 85% modern, 15% vintage. But you do have the specialized dealers here that focus on hockey or soccer cards. So no matter what sport you're looking for, you can find it here. There wasn't too much UFC though, but baseball, football, basketball always here at the show and there's also a ton of dealers selling wax across the room so if you're trying to find some sealed products you can find that here too So since I only made two deals today, I wanted to show you guys one thing that I got in my recent mail day. And this is an 1888 Goodwin Champions of Richard Sears. Take a look at this card. Absolutely beautiful. One of the best looking sets of all time. Now Goodwin Champions has a mixture of sports. People mainly know it for the baseball players, which are really, really expensive. But there's also tennis players in there. There's runners and also boxers. Now on the boxing side of things, I do have a John Sullivan, one of my favorite cards in my PC. But I was able to pick this one up raw at a really good price. And Sears is an early tennis legend. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Next weekend, I'm going to be flying out to Arizona for a small local card show and also innings festival, which I can't wait because there's a ton of bands that I can't wait to see, like the Foo Fighters, Team Impala, and Billy Strings. Catch you guys in that vlog. Mm -hmm.